So this could pretty much be like a how to build an above ground pond. On the edge of this pond, finish the base of the pond. Now you can see that just fills in all the little. Dude, holy crap. Bro, if you I wasn't right here, my camera would be in the water. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here. Before I start this video, let me introduce myself. I'm Paul Caffaro. That's my little pond, and that's my big pond. These are my ponds, but today's video isn't exactly on that. Today we're heading over to Luke's house, and we're gonna make a little goldfish pond for him. He's got a little pond, and then he's gonna make this one right here that you'll see in this video. That'll be completed inside this video, probably towards the end a little bit. We're gonna head over there right now. What today's video is really about is uh, building a mini goldfish pond at Luke's house. So right now, we're heading to Luke's house. It's about 35 minutes west of here, so I'm heading there right now. It is gonna be a pretty fun time building this thing. I've never built anything like this in my life. It'll probably be like a one cylinder block around the whole entire thing. And look at a little lure right here hanging. That's the bass crusher right there. Anyway guys, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. This is gonna be dope, and my camera's moving about to fall off. See you guys at Luke's house. Oh, and just like that, guys, we are at Luke's house. Check it out. We're at his little pond here. Look how clear it is. Clear. So what we're doing is probably going to build like a little canal right here and then uh, put a tarp or something to hold the water inside that little canal that we're going to build and then have this tube, which is running the extra. I don't know why the water is coming out of that, but uh, has like plants and stuff on this. So anyway, that's pumping out water. So we're going to have something sucking out the water going back into here and that water has been f filtrated out of it's all right anyway the filter will be running both of these ponds by the time we are done there's the hybrid there's two baby paku like this big in here yeah i fed the hybrid a big chunk yesterday. oh there's one of the paku come on shadow get out of the way i gotta cover it there he's down there next to the driftwood and uh there's one more in there too and there's jeff All right, so we just did a little bit of a lining, like a lining the outline of the pond. Wow, it's dark. And uh, we need to go grab four more cinder blocks, four more cinder blocks out of his mom's lot so that we could make that rest of that outline. And then we can put the tarp in, and then water, and then it'll look sick. Cool. Whew. All four. It's gonna be like a mini creek it's actually not as small as it looks but it's small but not like small small it pretty much be like a how to build an above ground pond for you guys that are watching if you want to build like an easy how to above ground pond how much do these bricks possibly cost probably not much honestly but this is a really easy way to do it that or you just buy a plastic bin it looks like this one of those and that'll make a pond way easier than this so either one of those both will work to build a pond but right now we're going to build this little pond right here it's like a, almost like a mini creek, I should say, or like a 75 gallon tank. And uh, we're gonna put some water in there and eventually he's gonna put some fish on it. I'll let you guys check out his channel for a video when he puts the fish in it. Right now we're just kind of building the pond itself. Stay tuned. All right, Luke wanted to make it a little bit bigger. So uh, we just added one more layer on top of this and then just put it out one more cinder block. So uh, it's a little bit bigger now. <sighs> All right, guys. Just unloaded the rest of these cinder blocks that we will need for this video. We're gonna put it on the edge of this pond, finish the base of the pond, probably fill inside the holes of the cinder blocks with some sand or something, and then lay the tarp over. It's just a normal tarp. I don't even know if it, I mean, it'll work. It's just for it's goldfish. Waterproof. Yeah, it's waterproof. But, and then we're gonna fill this up with water. It's like a little homemade makeshift pond. Alrighty, there is the base of the pond right there. Everything is lined up. We're gonna try to put the tarp and water in right now and see if anything tilts over or breaks because, uh, these are empty right now, and obviously you're supposed to put concrete in them, just like we did on this, or Luke did on this. You can see the concrete's all around it. We're gonna try to do it without the concrete since it's way more shallow and smaller, and see if it works. If not, then we'll put concrete, sand, or whatever we need to do. Let's fill her up. Let it rip. It's gonna look so cool. You might gotta pull that side more. Pull that set up. There you go. Perfect. There's the little pond. Dude, it looks sick. It's like a mini little pond. Well, that's what it is.
Dude, holy crap. Bro, if I wasn't right here, my camera would be in the water. Look at the breeze. Bro. And if I didn't say Luke, anything. I mean, I was on it. I was on it, dude. I was standing right there, and Luke goes, pull your camera here. I literally just moved my hand. I didn't even look, bro. I just swiped my hand backwards, and it hit it off the side of the pond. Dude, holy God. Time lasts next to your pond, guys. Oh, put it right here. Wow, I'm zoomed in. Hey, hey. Uh, I was probably like that the whole time I was just talking. Wait, I got to zoom out. Wait. Dude, that was so scary. Holy crap. Zooming out. Very slow. G7X takes a long time. Hi. It's me. Dude, that was so sketchy, dude. My heart is literally pounding, bro. Look at that fire march, by the way. It's top link in the description. Check it out. But look at this, dude. It is coming along. Screw the time lapse, dude. It stopped about halfway, but I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Like, that's blue tarp, and that's black tarp. It makes it look so much brighter when there's blue tarp. All right, guys. So what we got here is we got this pump. Come over here, Paul. That's what sucks in the water. No, yeah, this is what's going to suck the water in from over here and bring it over here. Back to there. Because this is going to be pumping from this filter, which has a UV light and everything. Which is sucking out of that pond. So what it's doing is literally just circulating these two ponds with the same water over and over again. Just kind of like split from a half. You get what I mean? Put that pump. We need something to connect to that. Yeah. That sucks. In the meantime, she's filling up. We're going to look for a, 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 a pipe that connects to that thing right over there so that we could put that pipe from here into there. Oh, wow. wow, this is confusing. Look at that. Did you just like find that right there? Yeah. Look at, the, what are the chances of that, dude? That's why you come out to Loxahatchee and you can find anything in your yard. You just never know. Look at that. Look at, what are the chances of that? Fits perfectly. It could be on there a decent amount because as long as it's, that's going to be underwater. So if there's a leak, it just goes right into the pond. All right, now let's go show them how it works. All right, so you got the little pump, the pipe, like is in here. It's going to suck out the water from there, go into here. That's going to filtrate the water from in there and go back into there. Perfect. I said it right. All right I got to stop this because it's, it's just about full. So I'm going to end. I'm going to stop that right there. Holy crap. Look, yeah, that thing full blast. Pull that out. So if, obviously, we don't need to put anything in these. And maybe over time, maybe he'll do it if he gets bored and needs another video to make. But uh, other than that, there's nothing you need to put in those because obviously it's not enough water to uh, burst out the sides like that would have. Because you can see the difference in size. See how the little bricks that are on the side of the this right here, see those bricks that you can, you can see the shape of it right there. Instead of having that to where it can actually rip the tarp on the corners, get some sand and a line of sand above it. Like sand, even like the sand that's back there, like back right there, and like over there. Grab some of that sand and just make a little layer of it above that, and then you should be set. And then you can see, this will all have plants right here. He's going to get potted plants to go right here to mix these two. So he's got something going on different on his channel. So it's like two above ground ponds in the front of his window of his room right there. Now you can see the pipe goes across here, back into there. So he's going to plug that in real quick. Yeah, because it's the same water circulating. So he doesn't even need a heater for there because it's the same water circulating. And there's two heaters in here already. So everything's perfect. All right, now that just started. Look at the water pumping out of there, right? Now plug in this one as well. It's, Look. it's plugged in. You just, I just need to, have to take this out of the water. Now this one's plugged in as well, right? So we're going to, both are running. That's going to start emptying. So what we're going to do is pop this one out now which is the other half of this filter, and uh, put it over onto this side of this pond. So, you got eggs. You can cut it, cut it, cut it. So check out how sick that is, ready? Sucking it out, going straight into that pond. Then that pond is filtering it out, which is filtering the water, going back into this pond through that pipe. So sick. Obviously, he's gonna have these rocks just like this, concreted along the side, even, He's going to make it look a lot nicer, but I'll leave that to his channel. Because this isn't exactly my pond, I don't want to steal all the content from Luke. So if you guys want to check his channel out, the link is in the description. The icon is also at the end of this video. Check his channel out. He's a new YouTuber. He's got already almost 5,000 subscribers or something like that. And he just started. This is sick. Let me tell you. From a little pond, just like me, I had a bigger pond, and then I made a mini pond. And look, he's going for the mini pond now. And look at that. Put some mollies, some goldfish in there. The only thing you gotta you gotta uh, measure out, and there is a nozzle on there that you could uh, estimate how much water is getting sucked out, because you don't want too much getting sucked out and not enough going back in, which would then lower this water level and put that one higher. So he's gonna even that out. Actually, I think he already did. You can see the nozzle. I'll pull this filter up. You can see that nozzle right there on the side. You can twist that to how much water you want to be sucked out of that into there. Oh yeah.
There you go. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, that that's sick, dude. Get a rock to put on top of there. Just like that, dude. Bang. And then you'll have plants in the between here. All the rocks will just, exactly like that pond, he'll uh, build on the sides just like that right here with concrete and uh, bricks. And then uh, it'll look perfectly good. I thought I'd share this video just to show you guys how to build a mini above ground pool, super, or a pond, super easily. It'd probably cost, I don't know, maybe $100 if you didn't have the filtration system or anything. Other than that, that tarp is really cheap. Easy to do, build your own pond, put your own fish in it. You probably couldn't put like huge fish in that pond, but you definitely could put like goldfish, paku, like baby paku, anything small that you were putting in like a 75 gallon tank. I hope this helped anyone that's trying to build a little above ground pond. Hopefully your parents let you build it because I know a lot of the comments, everyone's like, dude, my parents won't let me build a pond. And some say, bro, my parents finally let me. So trust me, I begged my parents for such a long time. The second I built one, they loved it so much that they just didn't even care when I kept building even more. Show that clip to your parents, by the way, kids. <laughs> That's it for today's video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter right here on the screen. If you haven't done so already, subscribe below. Check out the merch, top link in the description. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys. Ho, ho, ho.